The federal New Democrats have introduced a bill meant to reshape the way Canada's justice system deals with intimate partner violence. As Brian Bicknell reports, the new laws would criminalize coercive behavior regardless of physical violence. Parents are not supposed to outlive their children. That's Jennifer Kagan speaking in London in 2022. In February of 2020, her four-year-old daughter Kira was killed by the child's biological father in a murder-suicide. In the relationship, Kagan was subjected to both physical violence and coercive control. Kira and I were both possessions, and I was the possession that had managed to escape his control, which enraged him. The federal NDP has introduced a bill that would add coercive and controlling behavior in a relationship to the criminal code. That could include threats, humiliation, isolating a person from support, and depriving them of independence. There's uh, controlling behavior, um, taking control over someone's financial um, circumstances, their bank accounts, um, using children, using other relationships. So this will allow police officers to see all of those steps as, as just as equally a part of the problem. The so-called bill to keep women safe has passed second reading in the House of Commons and is now at the committee stage. And while private members' bills are often difficult to get passed, advocates say it is important to keep this conversation going. Jennifer Dunn of the London Abused Women's Center says women often don't realize they're victims. Women will, will call us to want to access service here and say, but I've never been hit. And that's not all that it's about. You don't have to be physically abused to be abused. Being able to charge somebody with course of control would be a huge step forward for this. As for Jennifer Kagan, while she wasn't able to speak to us in person on this day, her written message is that she wants judges to be better educated in recognizing coercive control before the bill to keep women safe is passed. Brian Bicknell, CTV News.